Well, hello there. It's the morning after, and um, I don't want to say I have a regret per se, but I'm not in love with the purple, so I changed it. <laughs> I decided to go all in with the pink, and I have to say I am in love with this one. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I have a little tiny bit of cleanup to do. I just like rough, got the rough edges off and I cleaned up underneath that one. So now it's all nice and even and pretty, but I have a little tiny bit of cleanup. I'm hoping you can see there's a little tiny bit of, well, you know what? Let me, let me move you down. Hang on. And I'll show you how I do it. The, okay. This firstly, let me show you this says elf concealer on it. It's a concealer brush for makeup. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my dark circles are way bigger than this. So I, I think it's like, oh, bless their heart. This is a concealer brush. I love it. I mean, maybe for tiny little things like this, fine, whatever. But for me, it's my cleanup brush around my edges. So let me move you up. Oh, wait, let's let there be light. <gasps> Surprisingly, that works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, get my remover, oh, wrong one. I have an open one and an unopened one. There's the open one, and I'm just gonna get my brush. And what I wanna do is get this, I know it, it's this tiny little bit, but it's this little thing right there. Right there. I just want to get rid of that little speck. I know it's a little tiny speck, but um, because you know, when you're using the color street strips, one of them has a smooth edge, and the other one is the edge where the little perforated tabby is. And you know, sometimes you have a little tiny bit of that where the tab perforated and you pull it apart, and there's a little tiny bit of it left over. And what I also have is this along this side. Here, hang on. There we are. There's a little bit of roughness right along there. So what I'm going to do with that is, hang on, let me put the lid back on my remover before I spill it all over everything. So what I want to do with that is just get my file. Hang on, let's get the good angle. And just very gently run my file along that edge. Just like that. And see? Much better. Let me just do one more swipe. And now there's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, let me... Uh, where's my alcohol? Oh, I have pet pads. Okay. I... Uh, just did my skincare, so my skin is glowing, but I don't want to have any any oil on my nails when I put my top coat on. And I am going to do a quick, I'm going to use the Color Street Strengthening Base Coat as my top coat. It's very good. And it will, um, you know, there's, you can kind of see, I can definitely feel it when I run my finger like this. I can feel that there's you know, the, what did I call it? Line of demarcation. So I'm going to just come in with my top coat. And smooth everything out. And always, always, always put a little bit extra on your free edge. That's the real deal. And, you know, you don't really need top coat on your entire nail. You really only need it on your, like, the last third for your free edge. And so that's usually what I do is just put it here on the last third. On my ring finger, I put it all over everything just because of the um, overlay. But on my other fingers, I really just put it on the last third. And that way it'll... Keep it from, because sometimes with polish, it, it shrinks as it dries. And that's partly why you might see a little wearing away. It's not that the polish is wearing off. It's that it shrinks over time. So with the shrinking, you want to 
not put polish on your entire nail because it's just going to encourage the shrinking. I mean, you don't want to put top coat over your whole nail. You just want to put it on the last edge because it's going to shrink away from your cuticle as your nail grows. And sometimes your hair gets caught behind there. That drives me crazy. I hate that. So what I like to do is only put it on this area right here, the, the last third. And that way it won't shrink away from your cuticle. But because of this overlay, I'm putting it on all of it here. Smoothie, smoothie. A little bit more on the end. I really do love this Manny. I'm so happy I changed it. It's not that I don't love the purple. Purple is my favorite color. It is the best color ever. But the purples didn't match tonally. Um, the squiggly one was a little bit warmer than the coolness of the um, Glitter Days head. And I just, it, it wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. It doesn't mean that I don't love Color Street, because I do. And I'll find another way to use glitter days ahead. Um, unfortunately, well, no, I do have other strips left over, but I don't know if I have um, enough to do both. I, I mean, I'm going to only have enough of the squiggly one to do like an accent nail. So I'll come up with something, though. I promise. But this is what I have for today. And... I just wanted to show you what I have now and the um, cleanup process. So this is it. And happy Sunday. Oh, yeah. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. All right. <laughs> See you next time.